Good morning, everybody. Uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw Tweety Bird. And what I want to emphasize here is that we're going to be using a lot of the same techniques we've been using in class, finding shapes, drawing soft lines, measuring um, sizes and angles and where things line up with each other. All that stuff we've been practicing for drawing objects, you can apply to drawing anything from cartoons to portraits to pretty much anything. I'm going to be going pretty quickly, so if you need to, please pause the video so you can catch up during different steps. And um, don't stress, try your best, and if you need to restart, you can restart, but um, I always recommend try to fix your mistakes, don't trash your paper. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to start by taking a look at some of the shapes that I see. I mean, Tweety Bird has a giant head, which is about as big as her body. So. I'm going to keep that in mind, the different size proportions going to play with. And right off the bat, there's an oval slash circle that jumps out. So, ghosting my line before I make contact, I'm going to practice drawing it in and then find my shape. Okay. So, that's going to be the base of the head um, that gets it started. Now, what you see a lot of portraits or heads, what you'll have is a construction line or a, um, a line of symmetry that comes across to help keep things balanced. So I'm just going to draw a line near the left side because Tweety is turned in what we call a three-quarter view. She's not looking straight at us. She's not looking straight to the side. She's kind of in between. She's in the three-quarter turn of the head. So you'll see a lot of um, cartoonists or artists use lines like this to help place the eyes and the nose and all those sorts of different things. Underneath that, I'm going to be able to place a bit of a curve, another oval shape that's going to be for her cheeks and where the beak is going to end up going. And then I can start placing the eyes. Notice that that is slightly to the left. It's not on the center. So the middle is right here. I might want to bring that over just a little bit or shave the back of her head, but I can change those things as I need to. So let me get a little bit more focus in here. Do it. All right. Focusing, guys. Okay. Um, next, I'm going to draw in her eyes. I can see that this eye is pretty straight up and down, and this one comes at a bit of an angle, and the size is pretty similar. So I'll draw them. Take some. Let's see, where's halfway across the head? That's say about halfway there. The eyes are pretty sizable. So. Nice oval on this side, and then another oval slightly angled out on the outside there for her eyes. And then the beak is going to fall right under where that intersection is. You can pull that line down if you want to. That's just the oval where her beak is going to go. Um, I'm going to add in the details a little bit later on and clean up that shape, just like we do when we're drawing objects. But let's get everything in place first. And then we'll worry about the details. Now that we've got that, we can start to put in her body. You can treat the body as just one long oval, or you can break it into two equal parts. I know it does protrude a little bit in the back. The body compared to the head is pretty close to the height of the eyes to the chin. And it's going to fall right underneath that eye with a little tail bump out underneath here. So I'm going to give a little tail bump out there. So oval with a little bump. With a little, a little extra curve here. So I'll get into that a little bit later. And just to get the position of the arms. Let's see, we've got the neck that's going to fall in here. And the angle of the arm is coming out past with the hand kind of level with the beak. So I'm just going to put a little line in there to get that in place. And then coming almost directly across is going to be her other arm, which is on her hip. And then I can start to get some of the other features. A little, just a little line to show where the tail is going to be coming out up there. And then her feet, big feet. So I've got a little line for her legs coming down and then looking at the size of feet. Obviously they're ovals 
I can tell that the edge of the foot is flowing right underneath where that hand is going to be. So I can bring a line down and that gives me a good indication of where that foot is going to be and the size of that. Right? This other one is going to go past the edge of the head. So even though I don't have something to line it up with exactly, it does tell me that it's going to be pretty big and it's at a slightly down angle. So I can give myself a little bit of a down angle to make that across and get that other foot shape in there. So now I've got all of the basics in place. I can start to go back and add some more detail and start cleaning up the figure. And that's where it starts to come together pretty quickly. So if we jump back to the eyes, we can see that right underneath the eye, there's a, a curve for her cheek. And then inside the eye, there's most of an oval surrounded by another oval shape, right? Leaving a little bit of the white of the eye on the outside. And then three curves coming away as her eyelashes. Um, if you want to darken in any parts of that, clean it up, you can do that as well. Similar thing on the other side, there's a little curve underneath for the cheek. That eye does curve away, that, that line there that really curves to the left. Her whole eye is kind of leaning to the left. And you notice that the pupil works differently in the space. So she's kind of looking to the side as she's <coughs> excuse me, um, turning her head and those eyelashes are going to break away across there. Not too bad, looking good guys. The beak itself, oh, and then if you need to change all things, like I notice I've got a little bit more space for the head I need to carve out there so I can start changing the shapes a little bit. I'm going to bring that around, really curve the back of the head here. See how I kind of shaved it in a little bit and left all these lines on the outside? I can change those things and tweak it. That's why I keep my lines soft and fluid. I'm going to start refining that shape. Got that bump for that cheek. The beak comes to a point and curves underneath. So I'm breaking it into pieces. And there's a curve for the cheek, which is right underneath the eye. So I got that sort of backwards parenthesis there. This probably looks like a mess because of all the little lines, but when at the end it gets cleaned up. And then a little line underneath. The bottom of her chin is sort of a straight diagonal line coming down. So I'm refining the shape, bringing that curve out, and then three little hairs on top. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit more for you guys, see if that helps. Now we can start looking at the body and bringing those things together. The neck going into the shoulder, building around. Following that curve and that little tucked in wing, that's her wing. A little empty space here. I'm going to puff out that chest. She's definitely got a little bit of a, a puffed out chest on the top. So I want to puff that out a little bit more. For indication. And bring that tummy down in more of a diagonal down here. and find some space to fit in that tail feather. The other arm, notice that it sort of tapers as it moves up. So it's gonna come off the shoulder and narrow. So it's gonna slightly off here and then it's wider where it connects to the body and narrows as it gets to the wrist. And she's got a, got, got a paddle for that hand where we can break it into a couple of little fingers and then throw a bump out for her thumb as if she's presenting something. So it'd be great if you ever have to draw something and you want to be like, here's Tweety presenting. 
So you see how this, these shapes quickly start getting refined into something more recognizable. Last thing to deal with are the feet. Now, what you notice about the feet is I drew a pretty basic oval, but there's little curves. It's a little bit more narrow at the base and widens at the bottom. So just let your eye travel around that shape Follow how it's moving. And tweak things as you need to. Right? Bring that extra toe. So, a little bit of detail in there. This big curve underneath. Wrapping for that toe. And then on the other toe is coming out of that curve. Going a little bit higher. And then coming down into right there right so right now this is a whole mess of lines and there's a lot of stuff going on and i might be trying to fight to darken things and get stuff figured out what i can actually do now is come in with a marker or any other tool to start to highlight areas and trace what i want to keep and then erase what i'm not going to keep so and as i'm doing that i might continue to make changes I'm going to take my fine point sharpie. If you have a, a water-based marker or a ballpoint pen, that would work as well. And just go around and pull out the lines you want to keep. Add any little details. And you'll notice the difference. All that sort of mess that you had before starts to become more defined. Start to make out some of the details that got lost. Pull them back out. Tweety is a girl, right? I think that's been established. I don't know how, how Tweety identifies him herself. I'll leave that up to Tweety to define, not me. Probably could have gotten a little bit bigger on the head. <clears throat> but first time I've drawn Tweety, so not too bad. Uh, next, I'm going to come back with my eraser and erase any lines I'm not keeping. You can see the big difference that does in cleaning it up right away. Um, Make sure to raise in between your fingers or lift and pull away so that you're not crumpling up your paper. And if you drew soft enough, you should be able to remove a lot of those lines and not be stuck with um, the ghost of, of misplaced lines. And if you need to thicken the lines, go back, darken in any areas, you can continue to do that. <clears throat> Other than that, it's time to add color. So good luck. Look forward to see, seeing your results.